Hey guys, it's Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Today we're going to take a look at the Legacy Edition Dragon Dagger. Here's a box. Nice gold foil. Ages 15 plus. Portrait of Tommy of the Dragon Dagger. Summoning the Dragon Zord. 24 karat gold plating. Die cast metal. Classic theme song from the show. Just like all the other legacy items. Here's the back of the box. With the story. And here's the top of the box. Again, it shows the dragon dagger. All six rangers. Side of the box. Same thing. And decide exact same thing. Here's the dragon dagger. I mean, look at the size of this. This thing is huge. Could break out my tape measure, I guess. Use the green one. From the bottom of the hilt to the very tip of the blade, it is 18 inches. Nice design on the flute work. It's got a very reptilian like skin design. Very fitting of the dragon dagger. Here's the speaker. They hit it quite nicely. I mean, you can still tell it's a speaker, but it's still hidden very nicely. Dragon coin symbol. Also has that reptilian style design in the background. It's kind of hard to see because of the gold, but... These little designs on the hilt. Um, right here, there's this button. That's where the battery goes. Pop that, and it pulls right out. Let's turn it on. Nice activation so sound. Um, all three buttons do do something different. For example, has three sword clash sounds, and then if you hold down the mouthpiece with your chin, or you can press it with your finger, but I like to do it with my chin. The first, the first and third buttons summon the dragon sword. Those are the noises. And the center is the Power Rangers theme song. I kind of think they should have uh, had the Go Green Ranger song. And to get it to stop, you just hit this again. Um, it's great, like, as a collector or a cosplayer, I mean, th this would be a legitimate cosplay prop to complete your Tommy as the Green Ranger, or even in civilian green clothes, like I'm wearing right now. By the way, I'm wearing the Dragon Zord hat for this video. Thought it was fitting. But you can cosplay with just the dagger in green clothes and be the Green Ranger. Or, if you're more of a Jason fan, Jason got the dragon shield, he got the dragon dagger. He had the ability to summon the dragon sword after Tommy lost his powers. So you could theoretically be the Red Ranger and still have the dragon dagger. Turn it off. This is an off and on button right here. They hit it very nicely. Um, I, I can't really say much more. I mean, this is fantastic. 
But I do have more for this video. We're going to take a look at the Dragon Zord. I can see Dragon Zord. Nice portrayal. 11 inches tall. Ages 15 plus. You have the Secret of the Power Zords story on the side. The top of the box shows Tommy and the Dragon Zord with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo. On this side, you have the story of the Power Rangers. At the bottom, you have all six Rangers again. Metallic paint, die cast metal parts. It gives you Dragon Zord stats, like the old boxes used to back in the 90s. Um, and then you have the combination modes. If you take Megazord, you can either take the Tyrannosaurus and Pterodactyl out and just use Mastodon, Sabertooth Tiger, and Triceratops to make Dragon Zord in battle mode. Or you can drape the top Dragon Zord over the top of the full Megazord. And he kind of looks like some kind of almost like a shaman kind of figure. Um, this does not work. I've tried it. It's much too heavy to do. This works fine, but this does not work. So I will not be showing this combination. I will show you this. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at Dragon Zord by himself. Pretty impressive, right? This is all painted and sculpted. None of the decal is stickers. It's all paint and sculpt. It does have articulation. Most of that's for the combination mode. Um, his fin on top. His mouth opens and closes. His tail fully articulated. Multiple articulated joints in the tail. So you can get that Moving Dragon Zord tail going for different poses and displays, which is fantastic. Like, I never owned the Dragon Zord in the 90s, but I'm pretty sure it didn't do this. I don't remember it. I mean, I had friends who had it, and I don't remember the toy doing this. But this, this is great. He is die cast metal here, here. No, that's plastic. Right here, where the hips join together, that's die cast metal. And the bottom of the legs are die cast metal, by the way. Look at those feet. It's freaking awesome. Has the Kiro Sentai Ju Ranger symbol, the Z. You know what I mean? Like, on the back of the Power Morpher, it's the same symbol. Because. As we all know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, at least season one, most most of the footage and the suits were adapted from the Japanese show Kiro Sentai Ju Ranger. Or Dinosaur Squadron Beast Ranger. If you need a translation. He, he's fantastic. So and he's quite heavy. You have to display him in a certain way or he will fall over. I'll leave him right there for a quick moment. Grab out the pieces I'm going to need. Here's the piece for the staff. And it does not stand on its own. It like leans. Like, look at this. You see this? They didn't make the bottom even. Like, two legs are longer than the other two legs, so when you put it down, it, like, leans like this. It, it's really weird that they did that. 
He does have a pair of interchangeable hands. These are more like gripping hands. And to change them, I don't like changing them because I prefer these ones. And these are the ones that are needed for the transformation. But to change them, it's very simple. They just pop off. And then you pop these ones right in the same spot. See, there's this peg right here. And then the hole. And then just pop right back on. Very, very simply. Well, these ones are tight. That's weird. I've never put these on because don't need them really there we go i got it and because of the way his combination mode works he gets quite a bit of arm articulation if you pop this out just slightly you can have his arm out more it's pretty cool you can lift his legs up his legs bend at the ankle they bend at the knee up and down and at the hip so he has quite a bit of articulation for being a very heavy Zord. Now, for the part you're all waiting for, combinations. Like I said, I'm only going to do the Dragon Zord in battle mode because the other combination does not work. Like, at all. Okay, again, to do this, you have to pop that hand back off, pop the regular hand on. Really wish they wouldn't have made that a ratchet. Makes it kind of difficult to do. He's already popping apart. Um, There we go. Okay. This is very simple to do. What you're going to do is... I'm not really sure why this is popping off so simple. It's not supposed to. You're going to pull the tail off. And then the tail will collapse down like this. And becomes one solid piece. Then you will separate his legs right here and his chest cavity will pop out. Then you will take his hands and close them into the ports at the top like that. Then you will take these and lock them together. You will open up his face, like so, he has a humanoid face. Then these will pop out like that, and they will come together in the center. Then his legs you have to open these ports up. Like that. And at the bottom, it reveals the Zord Builder ports that connect to the Triceratops and Serpentooth Tiger.
And that's all you have to do to the Dragon Zord for the combination. Then, you take this chest piece. See how it opens and closes? That's for this. This plugs into the bottom. Right here. These two. Boom. Like that. This plugs in right there in that hole. And there is a very specific way to do it because of the shape of the peg in the hole. And there you have the Dragon Zord's weapon. To for Dragon Zord to open it, you pull this open. Right here's this little like handle thing that can plug into the hand of the Mastodon. Next, you take the legs and just plug them in. And these are not a very secured, like, like I said, he's really heavy, and these are just plastic. That's the big difference. These are the 2010 Legacy, and this is the 2013 or 2015 Legacy Dragon Zord, and he's mostly die-cast metal. So, he's very heavy compared to them, but... He will stand. He does stand just fine. In the Megazord, his arms, the Mastodon, you take and just drape over like this. And same concept as the Megazord. They just clip onto the sides. And then this just plugs in to the hand, like so. And there you have it. Megazord in battle mode. Or Dragon Zord in battle mode. The Mastodon could, I think, still hold the shield, but it doesn't need to. And you could have him hold the Power Sword, but it doesn't need to if he's got this thing. This is kind of an overkill weapon, but... There you go, guys. Um, that's what we got. That was the Dragon Zord and Dragon Dagger. That's all I have right now. I'm sorry I haven't been putting out videos. I've been really, really busy lately, like getting ready for our local Comic Con, Cherry Capital Comic Con C4. To those who know what it means, I mean, you got four C's. C4 makes sense. So, that's what we've been doing lately. Also, we have Sun, so we're really busy with him. And all sorts of other things in life. You know how it, things are. Life happens. You get busy. I'm trying to get more videos out. I really am. Please, please, I, I thank everybody who watches so much. I mean, this video is already going to be like 20 minutes. So, I'm really sorry about that. But, hey, I, we got more coming. I got Star Wars, got some Marvel, Ninja Turtles, my wife's got some Harley Quinn stuff coming, Joker, Batman related things, uh, Halo guys, Disney characters, Destiny guys, I got some Green Lantern stuff coming, we got tons of stuff still coming, and after Comic Con, we might have even more, so stay tuned guys, thanks for watching, I'm Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in this channel and would like to see more. Sorry the video's so long. Thanks again. Bye, guys.